So you like dividends, so I imagine that these are dividend paying stocks. Well, no, I'm, I'm now focusing on balance sheets. I'm going to assume volatility. I'm going to assume, worst case, we have a long trade war. Maybe it goes for right to the election. Who knows? At, at points like this, maybe moving up the qualities a little better in terms of risk taking. So I'm just looking at large entities that generate a lot of cash that are reducing their debt and also are returning capital to shareholders through other dividends or stock repurchases. And when you screen the market for that, you find some really high quality companies across multiple sectors, like a J&J, &J. really boring stuff, Melissa. But when you look at how these have performed recently, you're happy to own them because the market tends to trade back to quality when there's times of concern. And, you know, give you an example, an extreme, if you had bought Uber, which makes no cash flow at all and obviously is a speculation, you got slaughtered. Right. You bought, took the same capital, didn't buy any of the Uber, bought a basket of these stocks, um, Pfizer being one of them, for example. These are really boring. And they provide security in times like this and returns. Remember, the div yields on these things are 1.9 to 2.2%. So... I'm getting boring and I'm protecting my capital and preservation is my theme. How does Boeing fit into all of this? This is one that you've liked for a very long time. I have. It's a pretty heavy weighting, right, in your portfolio. It was and it's zero now. Oh, it's zero. zero. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. When did uh, you get out. out? When did you I, get out? I got out um, the week after the, um, the concern when the MAX got pulled out. For one concern I have, and it, it, it's lucky, I mean, this was a 5% weighting, it's a zero now. This is the best manufacturing company on earth, so I have to get back into this name. The question is why. Here's my question that no one seems to be able to answer. When they redesigned the, the MAX, they pushed up the engines X number of feet on the fuselage because right. they're so powerful. Now, the software fix is supposedly going to correct this. To compensate the nose going down because the what, weight of the engine. What happened? This is 21% of their free cash flow. This is a big deal. What happens if it's a physical change that's required? What happens if you can't get the market back on just the software fix? I don't know any more than anybody else does, but my spider sense tells me I can't go back into this name until I get the resolution on that. Where would I buy it again? 288 to 300 is sort of where I learned to love the stock. Could it get back there? No sweat. I don't think you can retrofit those things. The, the well, engine, that the engine's, the right, engine's so totally been moved. these planes That's are just I mean. scrap metal, basically? The engine's basically. been totally <laughs> moved. Boeing could survive scrapping all of their inventory of, seventh, of, of Max. What about the, ones, about the ones that are already out there? Um, they're never going to fly. Under, listen, I am not trying that's to That's a speculate. crazy scenario. That, 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 I mean, that's like, you, you would say that the chances of that are like less than 5%. I haven't found an engineer that can confirm this. I've talked to many pilots about it. You know, look, I, go, I do a lot of work when I'm going to put a 5% weighting into a stock. I really, I got to understand the business model. I have to be assured, and I wish the company would come out and say it, they haven't, that I am not going to be facing any kind of a change to the basic design. Right. And, and I need to hear that, and a lot of other investors want to hear it too. Meanwhile, Every morning in the pre-market, you can watch this trade down. I talk to lots of institutional investors about it. I'd like to put this back at 5%. Under the worst case scenario, stock goes back into the 200s, I go back in. I mean, That's, it was about fuel efficiency. Look, it you changed know, the sort of the design of the... Why can't the company address my issue? I'm not the only person talking about this. Because the, the old planes didn't need this system because it didn't have the same no, I'm talking specifically to... have I have they designed a plane that was never well what's what I'm saying that the, the, the previous plane didn't have an MCAT system no but it also had the wing right. yeah, that's in what the I front. mean so the it was a change engines. in the engine more powerful design. engines they were moved up the fuselage that's what I mean I, I need to understand please answer that question for me and the Believe me, I'm not the only guy talking about so, this. So if the answer is no, no redesign, and you hear that from the company CEO, would you then buy the stock? Is that enough for you? Would you step in? I would start to put on a waiting list. I'd probably go to 1.5% right now. But this, I don't have to rush. Right. The this, this news gets worse every day. Well, the it, trade war doesn't help either, Boeing well, specifically. I, I'm not worried about the, the, the Chinese need the planes. I mean, they, they can't switch all their allocation to Airbus. That would be really hard for them to do. Look, this, I still say it's the best manufacturing company in the world, but can't buy it right now.